Ian Bocci and welcome to today's essential guitar lesson on the style of T-Bone Walker. Now in today's lesson we're going to learn a few different trademark intros that T-Bone Walker is famous for. Now hey, we may call Chuck Berry the father of rock and roll, but he certainly was influenced by a man named T-Bone Walker. Now T-Bone Walker was one of the first musicians to use electric guitar as a solo instrument in a big band. Imitating the lines and phrases that saxophonists and other horn players use during their solos. Now he developed a single note soloing style that has influenced many blues and rock guitar players. Now T-Bone Walker is a monumental figure in the urban blues movement. Now back in T-Bone's era, the guitar was basically used as a rhythm instrument. But thanks to guys like Charlie Christian and T-Bone Walker, that all changed for us. Now I personally got into T-Bone Walker back in the mid-90s when the swing scene was just starting to get big. Now at the time I was playing in a jump blues band and I was thinking to myself, I need to spice up my licks here. So I thought, what better way to get acquainted with this style than to learn some of T-Bone Walker's licks. And I went out and I bought a T-Bone Walker CD and uh, the rest is history. Now when I'm thinking of T-Bone Walker, I'm thinking of a couple different things. Now what comes to mind first is his prominent use of the ninth chord in two forms. And what he likes to do is usually move the chord up a semitone higher or lower, like this. Just like that. Now also what comes to mind is his use of the single note lines that are very reminiscent of what horn players used to play in the big band era. And of course, lastly, his trademark intros. Who could forget those? And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. T-Bone's trademark intros, they're basically just descending 9th and 13th chords, and they're played in many different variations. So essentially while he's playing these 9th and 13th chords, he's just basically going down in tone intervals. Now this is what this lesson is all about today. Now really quickly before we start this lesson, I'd like to invite you to check out my website at DamianBachi. Com. I have a great blues instructional guitar DVD called The Swingin' Essentials to Electric Blues. If you dig this lesson today, you're going to really love this DVD. This DVD ships worldwide. Alright, let's get ready with this lesson. Okay, let's get on with this lesson. Let's start it. Now what I'm going to show you today is four trademark T-Bone Walker intros. Now what I'm going to do is show you the four intros first and then we're going to go over each intro individually. Alright, let's start it.
Okay, for the first example, the first intro, this is how we play it. You put your finger on the 10th fret on the A string, put your finger on the 9th fret on the D string, and you put your finger on the 10th fret on the G, B, and E strings. Alright, and you strum it like this. Alright, let me show you how you do that. Okay, this is how your right hand picks it. Just like that. Okay? Okay, so now that you know the right hand strumming technique, let's go back to the first chord. Let's start from the beginning here. And then we're going to move down to the eighth fret. Moving straight down to the eighth fret, and our fingers are going to be in the same chord shape. Alright? So what we're doing is we're playing the 8th fret on the A string, 7th fret on the D string, and the G, B, and E string are 10th fret. Okay? So it's... And now we move down to the 6th fret, keeping your fingers on the same chord shape. Alright, down to the 5th fret. Okay, so that's the 5th fret there on the A string, 4th fret on the D string, and the G, B, and E string are all the 5th fret. Okay, so it's the same chord shape, you're just moving down the neck from the 10th fret, to the 8th fret, to the 6th fret, to the 5th fret. Okay, and now you're going to strum up, okay, like that, slide up from the 5th fret back to the 8th fret. Okay, so now you're ready for this part. Alright? Now, if you're not already, you're going to want to play this chord with your fingers barring the G, B, and E string. And the reason why you want to have your fingers barring those strings is so your pinky finger is free to play. Okay? Just like that. Okay? Alright. So here we go. What I'm doing is I'm putting my finger on the 12th fret on the E string. My pinky finger on the 12th fret on the E string. Okay, I start back from the beginning. I'm on the 10th fret on the A string, 9th fret on the D string, and the G, B, and E string on the 10th fret. Okay. And then I put the pinky on the 12th fret on the E string. Okay, and then I move down to the 8th fret again. Okay, and I put my pinky on the 10th fret on the E string. Okay, so it's... Then we play, go down to the 6th fret, you know. Alright, and then I play, put my finger there on the 8th fret on the E string. And then I just hit the... Uh, D ninth chord there, like that. It's the 5th fret on the A string, 4th fret on the D string, and you got your G, B, and E string barred on the 5th fret. Just like that. So it's... And then we go into the augmented chord. Okay, now to play that, we just play the 5th fret on the A string, 4th fret on the D string, 3rd fret on the G string, and 3rd fret on the B string. And we just pick it like this. Okay? And then we go back to the ninth chords, which we play a little bit differently here. Okay? Just like that. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm on the 3rd fret on the A string, 4th fret on the D string, 3rd fret on the G string, and 4th fret on the B string. Okay? Now, I'm able to play this because I'm barring. Okay? Alright, so it's... I'm going to go down. Okay? 2nd fret there on the A string. 3rd fret on the D string. 2nd fret on the G string. And 3rd fret on the B string. Okay, so it's... Alright! That's the first one. Let's do the next intro.
Okay, now let's learn the second intro. This intro is very similar to the first one, so if you learn the first one, you'll have no problem with this one. Now here's the strumming pattern. Um, it's just like that. All right, so we're gonna be on the 10th fret on our A string, 9th fret on our D string, and on the G, B, and E strings, you wanna have your fingers barred on the 10th fret there, just like that, okay? And you want your fingers barred so your pinky is free to play on the high E string, okay? So here we go. All right, and what we're doing is we're putting our pinky on the 12th fret there on the E string. All right, and then we move down to the 8th fret there on the A string, 7th fret on the D string, and the G, B, and E string is barred on the 8th fret. Okay, so it's... Move down, and what we're doing is we're playing the 10th fret on the E string, high E string. Okay, and then we move down again to the 6th fret, okay, on the A string. 5th fret on the D string, and the G, B, and E strings are barred on the 6th fret. Okay? Okay, and then our pinky is going to be playing the 8th fret on the E string. So it's... Alright, and then we're just playing the D9 chord there. Okay? And that is the 5th fret on the A string, 4th fret on the D string, and the G, B, and E strings are barred on the 5th fret. Okay, and then we slide back up. Back up to the 8th fret, we do the whole thing over. We just strum once like that on the D9 chord. 5th fret on the A string, 4th fret is the D string, and the G, B, and E string is the 5th fret barred. Okay, from there, we move to our last two chords. Okay. Alright, so what we're doing is we're playing the 3rd fret on the A string, 4th fret on the D string, 3rd fret on the G string, and 4th fret on the B string. Okay, so I have my fingers barred there, the 3rd fret there, so that's how I'm able to play these Okay, and what we're doing also, we're only playing the A, D, G, and B strings. So, and then we move down, just like that, to the second fret. Keep moving down, keeping our fingers in the same position. Second fret on the A string, third fret on the D string, second fret on the G string, and third fret on the B string. Okay, so from the top, it's just this. Alrighty, let's move to the next example. Okay, to play this intro, we're going to put our fingers on the 7th fret of the A string, 6th fret on the D string, and the G, B, and E string are going to be barred on the 7th fret. Okay? And we're going to be using our pinky on this one, on the high E string. Okay? So, let me show you the pattern. It's just like that. Alright, we're going to be putting our pinky on the ninth fret on the E string, like this. Okay? <laughs> okay, do it again. Okay, and then we're going to move down a fret to the sixth fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D string, and the G, B, and E string 
is the sixth fret barred. Okay, and then we're going to put our pinky on the eighth fret on the E string like that. Okay, so it's. Then move back up. Okay, back down to that. And then we're going to do the augmented chord. All right, and that is sixth fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G string, fourth fret on the B string. Okay, and you just play it like this. Okay, and then we do this. And what we're doing is you're sliding up to the sixth fret on the G string, okay? And then you're gonna double stop on the sixth fret on the G and B string, okay? All right? And then you play <clears throat> on the fourth fret the G and B string, like that. G and B string, fourth fret, play at the same time. And then you put your finger on the fifth fret on the G string. And then you can put your finger here on the D string on the sixth fret. Like that. Okay. All right, and then you play the ninth chord here, which is in the third fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D string, third fret on the G string, and fourth fret on the B string. Play it just like that. Alright. Okay, let me show you one last time kind of slow, all together. Okay, now for the final intro, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to be on the 10th fret on the A string, 9th fret on the D string, and the G, B, and E string is barred, okay, on the 10th fret. Just like that. So, and we're basically just going down the neck, playing these 9th chords, and here we are on the 10th fret, okay, and we're just going to be moving down, keeping our fingers in the same chord shape, just like the other chords that we learned earlier. So it's 10th fret, 8th fret, 6th fret, 5th fret, just like that. Okay? And then when we slide up, then it changes a little bit, and I'll show you that right now. When we slide up like this, we do that. All right? When we go back to the 10th fret there, we're going to be taking our pinky and playing the 12th fret on the high E string. Okay? That's the only difference. So it's from the beginning. It's and then we slide up. Do our little pinky action here on the 12th fret on the high E string. Okay? So let's take it from the beginning. And that's how we end it, with their ninth chords there. Okay? And in case you forgot, that's third fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D string, third fret on the G string, fourth fret on the B string. We slide down, second fret on the A string, third fret on the D string, 2nd fret on the G string, 
third fret on the B string. All right, from the top, it's That's it. Well, that's all the time we have today for today's guitar lesson. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like today's guitar lesson, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please check out all of my guitar lessons that I have on my page. I'd also like to invite you to check out my website at DamianBocci.com. Now, on my website, you're going to find some great guitar instructional DVDs on blues guitar and on rockabilly guitar. My DVDs ship worldwide, and if you enjoyed today's guitar lesson, I think you'll really get a kick out of my DVDs. Now, I really hope you had a good time on this lesson, and just want to say thanks again for checking it out. I was planning on doing this lesson for the longest time, so here it is, and I'm so stoked that it's here. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys next lesson. And until then, take care of yourselves and each other, and uh, I'm out, mate. See ya!